Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, Lewis dot structure for uh, carbon tetrachloride. So here we go. Uh, carbon tetrachloride is going to be CCl4, which is going to give us a total of, we have four valence from the carbon, plus four chlorine, chlorines, each with uh, seven valence, for a total of 32 valence electrons. Okay, um, and we can subtract out the largest multiple of 32 val of of eight, which is 32, gives us a remainder of zero, and that's eight times four, meaning that there's a central atom surrounded by four surrounding atoms, uh, peripheral atoms, and no non-bonding pairs. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. We have the carbon in the center, surrounded by the four chlorines. Okay, let's go ahead and single bond all of those and then fill in the octets for each of the surrounding chlorine atoms. Okay, so that looks like that should be our structure. Let's go ahead and verify by calculating the formal charges. So the uh, formal charge on the carbon, which is the central atom, is going to be uh, 4 valence minus 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds minus 0 non bonding electrons for a total zero. Okay, so that's good. Now we're looking at the formal charge of each of the chlorines and notice that they all have the same setup so their formal charges should all be equal. Um, <clears throat> it's seven valence brought in minus one bond for each chlorine minus uh, one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding electrons on each chlorine for a formal charge of zero and multiply that times four because there's four of those chlorines which gives you a total sum of zero for, for, for the overall formal charge which is what we want because this is not a charged particle this is neutral so that's it's supposed to be zero so that's good now let's talk about the shape um, AX4 four surrounding atoms no non-bonding pairs means a tetrahedral shape Okay, and with a tetrahedral shape, the bond angles are approximately equal to 109.5 degrees. Okay, um, with te a tetrahedral, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites, which means sp3 hybridization, 1s and 3p, so there's four orbitals. Okay, and uh, in this case, because all of the four surrounding atoms are chlorines, um, all of their uh, dipole moments are going to cancel each other out, meaning that this is going to end up having a, a net dipole moment of zero, meaning non-polar. Okay, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.